What is going on guys, Dr. Snipers here back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your Xbox One internet speed and get your lower ping, faster downloads, all that, whatever you guys need to pretty much just play your games quicker, sooner um, and more efficiently I guess. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this. As you guys can see right now, I'm on a wireless connection called Bell 752 and if I go ahead and test my speed and statistics, it's pretty much just going to show you um, my, uh, not really, I don't know about my ping, but stuff, like my latency and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and test our connection, and it's, it might take a minute, so I'll just be right back when it happens. Alright guys, so as you can see, detailed network statistics. I have pretty good, uh, download and upload, like it's really good to be honest, for, um, wireless connection. Wireless strength 100%, latency 23ms, you want that to be as low as possible. Download speed is 216.72 megabytes per second, upload is 140.78. 1% packet loss, and I'm not sure what MTU means. I don't think that matters. And this is pretty good, but for some of you guys, you might be watching this video because you're only getting 30 megabytes per second or less for download speed. And let's say NBA 2K21 is coming out. You want to be able to download that as fast as possible. You guys are here because you want to see how you can make that go even more higher. Like, obviously, 216 would be pretty good. Uh, no complaints, but I'm pretty much just going to show you guys how you can get it even higher. So we're just going to back out of here. And I'm just going to pretty much explain it. So all you guys are actually going to need to do is connect an Ethernet cord to your router. Um, if it's like really far away, there is like long Ethernet cords that are like um, 15 meters long and whatnot. So make sure to get one of those or something like that. But if the router is beside your Xbox, um, then you can just connect it directly to your Xbox and your download speeds are going to be way faster. And I'm pretty much going to demonstrate that right here. So I'm going to be right back when I connect it. Right, guys we're back here we are no longer on wireless so now we're wired as you can see you will see the bell 752 now you can see it says wired so let's go ahead and test our networks network speed and statistics one more time just to pretty much see the difference so again this is going to take a minute so i'll just cut to when it's over so we are back here it did finish um there is no more wireless strength and stuff like that because we're wired now but the latency went down as i said that's better Download speed went up, upload speed went way up, there's no more packet loss, um, I'm pretty sure you can't get packet loss if you're wired, uh, you might be able to, I'm not sure, but I don't think you can, so again, we went from 1% packet loss to 0%, definitely an improvement, upload speed, I think it went about maybe 300 megabytes per second higher, I think we were only at like 150 or something like that, that's a huge improvement, the download speed went up about 80 megabytes per second, obviously a pretty huge improvement, um, but for some of you guys, when you're downloading at like 30 megabytes per second, that'll shoot way up to 150 to 200 megabytes per second download speed. So again, that's going to be a lot better for you guys. And latency didn't go down too much since it wasn't already high, but again, it did go down. So literally every single category that you guys need is going to be improved when you go wired. If you guys can't go wired for any reason, then you are going to want to go ahead and go into your bandwidth usage, I'm pretty sure, or sorry, your advanced settings, and you're going to want to connect to a different port, which you can find online. There's lots of local ports and stuff like that, but that's uh, pretty much an extreme case scenario if you're downloading at less than 10 megabytes per second, then a local port would probably help you guys out. If you guys want me to show you how to do that, I can make a new video on it, but I'm pretty sure just explaining wired and stuff like that is the way to go, and yeah. If you guys are new here, make sure to like the video, especially if it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel. If you're going to be playing NBA 2K21, you got to make sure to ring that bell and just pretty much get your notifications on because I'm going to be uploading NBA 2K21 content almost daily, especially when it comes out. Best builds, glitches, everything you guys can imagine. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for that. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.